What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. So in this video, I have a question for you guys. Has your mining place, garage, house, room been too cold and affected your mining rigs? Because I am not sure what's really going on with this rig right here. It's either a loose connection or it is the temperature because I've never really had the temperatures this low in this location. It's always been pretty decently warm. Obviously with the change in the season, it being fall now, getting closer to winter, having the big fan and all of these intakes in my garage seems like it is slightly affecting the way my cards are acting. So yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna have to troubleshoot why this card right here continues to fall off. So then once I'm in the rig, you can see this card's gone and this one right here zero on the fan and this is the 3060 ti it is set on a hundred fan so guess what something's up that doesn't make any sense because let's look at it as you can see those fans are clearly off so it's either a loose connection somewhere a misconnection on the board usb's bad or something along those lines or I don't know, I don't know. It's really just blowing my mind. So the only thing we can think of is possibly the cold air coming in could have created some condensation on the back of a riser and that could be affecting the way the card's reading and you know the signal going back and forth from the motherboard to the GPU. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna stop the miner, I'm gonna shut this rig down, I'm gonna rip that 3060 Ti out. We're gonna put it right here. We're gonna take the riser off, peel the back off, and we're gonna see if there's anything affected on the riser itself. And I will just change out the entire riser and the USB to see if that's what it was. If it's not the case, then obviously we're in trouble. But realistically, that 3060 Ti is not really my biggest concern. It's more the RX 6600 XT because one of those, even though they're all spinning, one of those is not registering. It just fell off and it will not come back. It is GPU zero. I need to figure out which one this is. I'm probably just gonna put the fan to zero and see if that works. So let's do that right now. Come down here. You know what, I'll put the fan on 10 and we'll see what happens. All right, apply the changes. And I wanna see which card lowers the fan speed if any because that might not even work because the card's not registering it's not seeing it's there it really probably won't so give me one second i'm going to try to adjust the fan speeds on all the cards that are registering and the one that stays like you know balls to the wall 100 percent is most likely the one that continues to fall off so let me see if i can do this inside hive os and i'll be back in one second all right, so I just stopped the miner. Every card stopped, except for this one. So that tells me this is the GPU that needs to be pulled out because that's the one that's fallen off and obviously not communicating correctly with the board. And then obviously you guys know the 3060 Ti I'm gonna be pulling out as well. Um, in addition to that, it is seriously too chilly in here for these GPUs. I know we wanna keep them cool, but 53 degrees, is really cool because you got to think the cards do have fans on them as well i am going to be turning on that fan right there that is my 12 inch exhaust fan and that is going to be pulling the negative pressure for me i'm going to be going into the big part of the garage and i just shut that fan off that is my 36 inch exhaust fan that basically pulls the negative pressure right now and it's just too much force to uh keep running that's what's making this place so cold this is the one you guys have seen in older videos that I had running constantly all the time before I decided to actually turn on the big fan to allow that to suck the air in. It is no longer summertime, so I don't need that much airflow through here. We will see how this affects the temperature in the next coming days. But without further ado, let me, uh, let me shut this thing down. I need to get these cards out and we will go from there. All right, so real quick, Instead of actually removing the GPUs, this one and that one, I just checked the connections. They look good. Everything's plugged in all the way, which is nice. 
This is plugged into the breakout board all the way around and back there, as you guys can see. I'm just inspecting these risers because I wanna see something. I wanna actually put this back together and turn it back on and just see if that needed a hard reboot. Because last night I did lose power for a little bit and I don't know if maybe that affected something, but I don't think this is the issue. It looks okay. It doesn't look like anything's wrong with it. This is the one that was on the 3060 Ti. I also looked at those connections and they look fine. So I am assuming that maybe it just needed to be reboot because when I actually reboot this rig remotely, it doesn't shut off that power supply. It only restarts the motherboard. So I guess, uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna put this back on and I wanna see if this thing registers again, if those fans spin, and if this one pops up in Hive OS. So let's do that, just for science. Let's see. All right, all plugged in again. Same thing with the RX 6600 XT. So let's turn on this power supply. If you can see the Aorus fans came back on. Now I'm gonna turn on the ATX PSU. And the motherboard started up on its own, so let's see. Oh geez, it's actually getting colder in here with just that fan on. Hopefully it's because the rig's off. Kind of funny, I didn't realize when Hive OS boots up, it literally goes through each GPU in order to check the drivers and the fans will just shut off. Kind of interesting, because this one shut off right away and I was like, oh no, is it not gonna work? It's reading five. Come on, let's see. Man, it's so weird how the GPUs start up in order. It's kind of neat. And strange at the same time. All right, let's check. All right, so the temperature actually went down to 46 degrees. I'm not sure if the cold weather actually made these things shut down or not. But, I mean, two GPUs on the same rig, both went down. Really shouldn't be the issue, but I mean, who knows? Because, as you can see, they're all registering now. If I get into CCXD8, you can see them all registering right there on the top. I mean, minus the fan that's not reading, obviously. We know that's one of them broken Zotax. Oh, there it is right there. All right, so I actually think that was the USB just uh, not allowing that fan to spin. But yeah, so I mean, I don't know. I really don't know if it's the cold air or if it literally just needed a hard reboot on that server PSU because now that I think about it, the two cards that shut down were feeding off the server PSU. Nothing seemed wrong with the risers. They obviously are registering like you guys just saw. It's there's no other factors. It's, it's literally either the cold air or the, the fact that it just needed a hard reboot on that actual server PSU. So hopefully I'll be able to get another couple Shelly's installed and uh, I'll be able to take care of all these a little better. Um, and in the near future, I am going to be taking this rig and I'm gonna be placing this inside my rental property to help with some of the heat during the winter just because, I mean, why not? Why waste propane when I'm paying for electricity anyways? So you guys will see that done real soon. I just don't have time to do it today in this video, but I appreciate you all for watching. Please stay safe and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.